Tuck and Slide Introduction The psoas muscles form a bridge between the legs and the torso. They're involved in the movement of walking, which brings a leg forward as you rest your weight upon the other leg. Because the psoas muscles attach along the length of the lumbar spine, or low and mid-back, they also affect spinal curvature. The following lesson brings much more awareness and control of the role of the psoas in leg movement and spine stabilization. The essence of this movement is controlling your leg movements and position in order to feel the connection of the psoas at the inner groin to the pelvis and low back. The muscles specifically involved are the muscles of the low back, the iliacus or iliacus muscles, and the backward extensors of the thigh at the hip joint. These muscles coordinate with the muscles that control foot position, those at the inner and outer surfaces of the ankles. The result of this lesson is a more supportive low back and a more neutral pelvic position when standing. To prepare, would you sit for a moment and bring one foot up far enough that you can hold the ankle with one hand and your foot with the other. Hold your ankle steady and with your other hand, move your foot side to side. Just wiggle that foot back and forth. This is what is meant by turning your foot side to side. You'll need to know that distinction for the exercises that follow. Now sit down on the surface with your legs straight in front of you and roll your legs from side to side. This is known as turning your legs. When your toes point outward to the side, we call that turning your leg or turning your knee out. When your toes point inward, we call that turning your leg or turning your knee in. Now you're ready to begin the lesson.